Ryan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure and Regional Development. Will the Deputy Prime Minister please update the House on how the China-Australia Free Trade Agreement will increase two-way traffic between China and Australia, improving uh, jobs, uh, jobs and creating uh, more growth? Thank you. The Deputy Prime Minister. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker, and I thank the honourable member for her question. There's no doubt at all that the Australia-China Free Trade Agreement provides an, a, a world-class framework for economic relationship between Australia and China uh, over the, uh, into the future. And what it will also mean, of course, is much more travel between Australia and China. And in that context, it's exciting to note that in September, for the first time, China, including Hong Kong, became Australia's number one tourist market. More people came to Australia on short-term visits from China than any other country, overtaking New Zealand for the first time. And so this demonstrates how strong and important the relationship Australia has with China is going to be in, in the years ahead. Uh, 7.25 million tourists came to Australia in the last 12 months, a record a record, over a million more than when this government came to office. So our efforts in promoting Australia as a market by providing world-class facilities for the industry are bearing fruit. And it's particularly significant to note that immediately after the signing of the Free Trade Agreement, Australia entered into a new air services agreement with China. And that too was a landmark agreement. It will enable the Chinese airlines to essentially triple their services to Australia over the years ahead. Triple the services. And there are a large number of Chinese carriers that have expressed an interest in coming to Australia, already starting new services and, in fact, boosting the number of people who are able to travel between our countries. But not just Chinese airlines. I was excited to, 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 to read of of and to learn that Jetstar are beginning services from Wahoon to the Gold Coast uh, on bringing 787 aircraft, direct tourism between China and the Gold Coast. So there are going to be real benefits to the entire Australian tourism industry as a result of this closer relationship with China. Now, of course, that's going to mean new facilities in Australia, and it was a pleasure to be with the member for Ryan for the opening of the upgraded new Brisbane International Terminal just last week. There's work happening, obviously, in, in, in other terminals as well, the new T4 terminal in Melbourne, uh, T1, uh, uh, for, uh, uh, new pier for, for Perth Airport, and work on runways in Melbourne and Perth and, and, and Brisbane. These sort of things demonstrate that our airlines our aviation infrastructure is preparing for rapid growth in our tourist industry. We expect to have one and a half million tourists here next year. China will be the biggest market for, amongst those, uh, uh, for, for those visitors, but all of them are contributing to help building a, a stronger Australian economy. $13 billion expected the next Prime year.